shredding Mac OS Mojave working on a ThinkPad T530. Uh, so I have GarageBand open right now. Uh, I'll open my terminal. Uh, as you can see in the corner there, you're not going to be able to see well because this is a weird angle I'm filming at. But uh, it says I'm running Mac OS Mojave 10.14. Host is Hackintosh, SM BIOS, MacBook Pro 10.1, kernel 18, that's all accurate. If I go into About This Mac, it says uh, Mac OS Mojave, MacBook Pro, Retina 13, late 2013. We know that's not true, but that's what the SM BIOS is reporting to uh, Mac OS. Processor is a 2.59 GHz core, Intel Core i7, which makes sense, which is accurate, because I'm using an i7-3720QM, which is a quad-core mobile processor. Uh, I have 12 gigs of memory, which is accurate, running at 1600 MHz. Uh, startup disk is accurate. My graphics fully work. I'm using my HD uh, 4000. I'm looking into getting the NVS 5400M to work, but for now this is adequate. Uh, so my displays, uh, it says 1920 by 1080, 15.5 inch. Uh, shows the graphics information again, that's all accurate. Storage, so it detects my macOS partition, my EFI partition, my Windows partition, and my external hard drive. Those are all working. And uh, let's see. So to demonstrate what is 100% working, I can show you, for example, my brightness controls work. If I bring it down, the last one turned it off completely. I should probably fix that, but also I don't mind it. I don't bring my brightness that low. I just know to avoid that. Uh, my volume buttons work. The only thing that doesn't work is I have a ThinkPad mini dock, and it won't output audio through it. I'm pretty sure video works just fine. It's just audio doesn't work with it, so I have to plug in my speakers directly into the laptop itself. It's not a big deal, but it makes my cable management a little bit awkward, but uh, it's not the end of the world. And I'll show, for example, I have Spotify, and I'll play like three seconds of a song so I don't get copyright striked. Uh, There we go. Uh, and I'll go into GarageBand. And so that works too, so I have the, uh, the keyboard open here. So, let's see. Yep, that works just perfectly. Uh, so you can do everything you can do on macOS on this, essentially. Uh, the only thing that didn't work uh, originally was the Wi-Fi because uh, it's really hard to flash uh, a what custom uh, white card uh, custom whitelist for a Wi-Fi card on the uh, ThinkPad XX30 series because they use a different form of protection for the BIOS. So uh, your options are basically Core Boot, which can be unreliable because, as far as I know, uh, Core Boot's still in development for T530 and still in an early stage. Or uh, you can request a uh, custom BIOS off of certain people, specifically for your model, uh, neither of which I care to do. So what I did is I just got a USB dongle off of it. cost like $3 shipped from Canada, because I live in Canada. So it took like three or four days to get here. I plugged it in. I had a hard time finding the drivers. But if you look uh, for a specific GitHub thing, which is like wireless Mac OS drivers, uh, Sometimes it'll be prefixed with Clover, but you can click that and you can either install the text files into Clover or you can install them directly into your system extensions. I, I put it directly in my system extension just because like, I'm probably not going to be updating for a while because everything's perfectly stable right now. And with this USB dongle, I have Wi-Fi working. I do have Bluetooth working even though it doesn't say it works here because I actually have it disabled because I, I uh, was on the road recently and was just like, trying to like save as much power as I could, so I went to the BIOS and disabled everything I didn't actively need at the time. Uh, it says no drives here, I guess it's talking about disk drives, which is accurate because my optical bay is a hard drive right now, not an actual CD. Uh, my volume controls are perfect, they all work. Uh, the battery indicator works, uh, it's charging right now, but if I was to reach behind it and unplug it, which I'm not going to do because my camera's going to fall if I do that, uh, it'll show you like an actual percentage. I can uh, change the clock, and what else do I have that I can show off? So I have Atom, so I can do some HTML editing on the go. Uh, and I will say, on this 1920x1080p screen on the T530, macOS looks gorgeous. I mean, I wouldn't say it looks as good as my Atrico setup, 
but compared to Windows for like as far as 